everyone. It's so laid better from that to the Let's go. Um, today I'll be talking about, um, I'll be talking to ladies as usual. I'll be telling them how there's no such thing as a Mr. Right. There are so many confused ladies out there. So many confused single ladies. They actually do not know the reason why they're single. They have, um, you know, tag all men to the unworthy, you know, not up to standard or not meeting their criteria. The Mr. Right, you know, syndrome has got so many women confused. There's no such thing as a Mr. Right. There's no such thing as a Mr. Perfect. Have you ever had that joke? When you're Mr. Right, they go left. I beg, carry and come right. You laugh when you hear something like that, but you don't know the message that comes along with that joke. A lot of women see men that possess about 50, 40, 60 percent of the qualifications they want in a man and they just discard him like he's not a hundred percent complete. Nobody's a hundred percent complete. Even you yourself who wants somebody to be hundred percent complete, you're not hundred percent complete. Have you ever wondered why some women are comfortable being side chicks? Have you, you know, given in their thoughts? Have you ever wondered why some women are so comfortable snatching or you know swaying other people's husbands or boyfriend because they feel what those other people have are perfect? It's a big lie. See, eh, the thing as people in a relationship will not tell you, people who get married every Saturday will not tell you, is that they came to the, this conclusion, they, 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 they made peace with the fact that nobody can be 100% complete. They made fact to the fact that there is no such thing as a Mr. Right. Okay, see a guy is asking you out now, he has a car, he's well to do, he has a nice job and everything. But something is lacking they made that decision to overlook what is lacking and focus on other qualifications and other qualities that he has that's why they're happy you see all oh, you envy celebrities like oh they're living the perfect life oh they have the perfect relationship do you know what they go through have you ever wondered why after one year two years or a couple of months the relationship come crashing there's no such thing as a mr right there's no such thing as Mr. Perfect. You make do with what you have. You know, sometimes we, we ladies will complicate issues for ourselves. Yes, you go into a relationship and you keep, you know, putting down rules of what you want, of how you want it, of when you want it. Have you ever stopped to consider if really what you want might not be good for you? Have you entered into a relationship like, ah, let me just see how this goes, let me just drop my criteria at the door, let me just drop my qualifications at the door, let me just drop everything I have, you know, imbibed in my brain, like, this is how I want the relationship to be, let me just drop it and see how this goes, let me just allow this man love me the way he wants to love me, let me allow him to take care of me the way he wants to take care of me, just sit down, relax and be pampered, I don't expect anything, have you ever tried that? You see women be like, ah, no, you must have a car before you ask me out. My husband must be rich, my husband must be famous, my husband must be dark, tall, handsome, my sister, you be God. You don't create human being before. Nobody, nobody is perfect. There's no such thing as a Mr. Right. There's no such thing as a Mr. Perfect. Don't be deceived. Don't let people who are there give you the illusion that they are happy. No, not that, they're, not that they are not happy, but... They will be happy, then they will be sad, and then in their sadness, they know that, oh, I can't be sad forever. Let me just, you know, uplift myself and make myself happy. You just want everything to be perfect. Nothing is 100%. There's no such thing as a Mr. Right. When you want to be happy, you overlook every other thing that makes somebody imperfect and just focus on those imperfections and be like, well, if I can live with it, it's fine. If I cannot live with it, you go away. You don't try to, to make somebody comfortable by making them Mr. Right now. And why are you trying to make somebody a Mr. Right now? You're infusing your criteria into that person. Why envying other people like, oh, Kim Kardashian, can you wear bought her a, 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 a house? My man has got me a house. You get mad. You work for your pockets. Oh, my man, uh, uh, no, he must know how to speak English. How good is your English? How good is your spoken? How, how good is your written and spoken English? We we'll keep rules that even we ourselves cannot follow. You see a young, strongly guy like, ah, no, at least now the baba they try. He's good. 
to you, he's hardworking, but the bubble never hammer. But he possesses every other thing you want in a man, except for the hammer parts. Bubba never did make money. Then you wave him and say like, no, 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 I can't. He's not my man. He's not my class. He's not my type. You see so many independent world to do single ladies out there. They don't know what they want. They think they know what they want, but before you know what you want, some other person has to agree with you that, oh, yeah, 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 this is exact. This, it's good, you know, we can work together. But you carry your high heel and your plenty self. Man, toast you. You never even toast you finish. You don't imagine our wedding is going to be in Seth Charles. We're going to have kids in America. Calm down now. Calm down. There's nothing like a Mr. Right. You live as in you make do with what you have. You build yourself. Two people from two different backgrounds cannot have the same, the same ideology. Even if they have the same ideology, something is going to set them apart. You're marrying somebody that was raised from another person, that was raised by another person. Do you know the ideology that has been inculcated into him? You come and say you want to turn him like this. Both of you will come and you make your indifferences. You know, work together. There's not, nobody is perfect for each other. Even bread and butter, if you join them together, one go long past one. Even if those birds, if you look say those birds, one side go flat, one side go swell up. Nobody is a Mr. Right. No man is Mr. Right for any woman. This is what people in a relationship or married women will not tell you. They, 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 they accepted this fact that their men are not perfect. Their men are not the right one. But they are living with it. They are making do with it. They are working. They are, they are making it work. And you're single there. Saying, ah, I'm waiting for my Mr. Right. My sister, you go die for there. You go good old white baby everywhere. You go as in, you go say for there. When a young man asks you out, just... Forget everything you know about dating. Don't be I too know, I too savvy. Go with the tide, see how it goes. Learn new things, drop all the things you have. Learn new things, you know, emulate him. Let him emulate so, you know, let that infusion be perfect. Well, I know some people not gonna see this one. They want man with the drive range driver, where they do the whole other things for their girlfriend. Even those their girlfriend where they do for you, you don't know how they the thing where they they, they, they they endure inside house to come on social media and be deceiving you guys that they are happy. I'm not saying they are not happy, but you know, make yours work. Don't envy others. Don't be don't don't be like I want to be a side chick because he seems like the perfect man. His girlfriend is there enjoying him whole full time. You, your part time. Nothing is my business, but I just want people to be happy. We're well, going into a new year and I want you to forget everything you know about dating. Now, our wasabi sometimes they put us for wahala. Forget everything you know. Learn to love anew. Learn to take risk. Learn to be that girl like, okay, I've been, I've been, I've been, you know, deceived. I've been like, I've been thinking I'm so perfect when it comes to the dating game. But let me just relax and learn something new. This is all I have for today. If it's still me, Bella from TalkToBella.com. As I'm going to say, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, and I'm on Pam Chat. Please, you know, follow me, like me, you know, share my videos, spread the love. So somebody out there can get this message. And I love you, love you, love you, love you so much. This is me wishing you a belated Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Thank you.